dear friends in Christ, welcome to Daily Meditation on TV Veritas. We thank God for the poor, the needy, and the widows, the downtrodden in our country who are massacred and tortured every day because the wickedness of this country is increasing in every second. We are begging God through his word to convert our souls, especially those of us who are barren in attitude. Today is the 10th of, Sat of November 2018, Saturday. And the intense antiphon says, Forsake me not, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make haste to come to my help, and, O Lord, my strong salvation. We celebrate Pope St. Leo the Great, 461. May we thank God for all those who are called Leo. Today's readings, before we hear them, let us seek the face of God. Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us a life everlasting. Let us pray. Father in heaven, give us joy as we hear your word and make us to respect it through Christ our Lord. Today's readings are taken from Philippians chapter 4 verse 10 to 19 and Luke's gospel chapter 16 verse 9 to 15. I am Father Christopher Gekum. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you this, use money tainted as it is to win your friends and thus make sure that when it fails you, they will welcome you into the, into the tents of eternity. The man who can be trusted in little things can be trusted in great. The man who is dishonest in little things will be dishonest in great. If then you cannot be trusted with money, that tainted thing, who will trust you with genuine riches as, and as if you cannot be trusted with what is not yours, who will give you what is yours very own? No servant can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or treat the first with respect and the second with scorn. You cannot be the slave both of God and many. The Pharisees who love many heard all this, and laughed at him. He said to them, You are very you are the very ones who pass yourself off as virtuous in people's sight, but God knows your heart. For what is thought highly of by men is loosome in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. We should be careful the way we read the word and meditate. God is so touched about the way people behave in this world. God is so touched about the way people embrace the salvation of darkness. People put more interest in the things of this world. Christ is giving us the way to use our riches. Use your riches you know, with, to gain salvation rather than perdition. And that is why he taught us in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 to 17. Dear friend, do not love the world and all that is in it, because the world and all that is in it passes away. He also says it in James chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. Why are you battling against yourself and killing one another? Killing each other like Cain killed Abel in Genesis 4, 1 to 16. Because you are wicked, and your intentions are only self-centeredness. God says, stop doing that. But I said in 1 Timothy, the love of many is the source of all sorts of kinds of evil. He said it in Sirach chapter 31, verse 1 to 5. Anyone who loves many will never be judged innocent. And that's why the Pharisees who loved many took Jesus to be the contrary and laughed at him and mocked at him. When people 
reject the things of this world, they look at them as foolish people. That's why we are perishing in our country today. Because the lovers of life and this world, they are causing a lot of havoc, not knowing that the Master Jesus Christ is taking note. Let us therefore pray, not to be the destroyer of life, but the giver of life and the protector of life. Let us pray. God our Father, give us salvation. Seal us to always be poor in spirit and minimize the great things of this world that people are so taken up. Thank you for giving us life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God Almighty bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.